and we actually called him on the, uh, the iPhone, the product placement, and he was the one uh, who couldn't make it, and we actually talked on the iPhone. For those who want to put a face to the voice, this is the jackass. <laughs> I love it. It's so big. Travis plays like all, all your roles in TV and film have been like the biggest douches in the world. And he's like the nicest guy in, in, in person. Yes, I continually play it, actually. Um, I, I guess it's just somewhere in me I have it. You discuss the art of douchery. <laughs> you go to school for that. That's actually <laughs> Alright, so we, do we, uh, okay, the way that we, uh, the way we run, we got a mic on that side, we got a mic on this side. Anybody have a question? Raise their hands. What you got? Which, what you want to say? For real. Who's got it? Nobody wants to talk to me. Oh, shit. Thanks, guys. So, a question for Travis. Um, when you were talking about, um, like, stupendous and all that, Playing, like during the sex scene in Friday the 13th, was that like ad lib or like, what was that? Was, was that scripted or did you add something to it? Can you just tell us about that scene? I had to go to a lot of depths for that scene. Like, I, I did a lot of breathing and relaxation beforehand just so I could. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you're doing. No. Uh, for that, yes, there was a lot of ad libs and stuff. Stupendous was a line written, and I, for some, at first I was like, I don't want to say this line, it's stupid. And stupendous, she said stupendous, and like, just stick with it. So I said it, but a lot of the other stuff was just, I don't know, it's just, when you're in a scene like that, and you have 30 people around you, and you're naked, wearing a sock on your, your, your chin um, I never thought of that thing before. Uh, it just, it just comes up. I mean, I just kind of riffed and had fun, and, Tossed around the boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fun back also, a lot of people think that the sex scenes are so glamorous. And, oh my god, they're so hot and steamy. Unglamorous. Uh, 12 hours we took to do that sex scene. And, and it's just, it's literally, Julian is great, but it's just, you guys just there, just like doing this for 12 hours. Hold on, put on the robe, wait 30 minutes, come back, same thing. It's, 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 it's definitely not a glamorous thing. All my friends are like, that must have been so cool. I remember coming in, I was waiting outside the window the whole time while I was having I'm trying not to laugh because you know your two friends are making, making love. <laughs> and uh, I came in and I was like, hey man, how's it going? What's going on, Travis? And Travis, I, you, you think, you're like, oh, it's crazy, it's awesome. He looks like he just didn't beat in the face. And he looks over and he's like, I am so raw right now. <laughs> I'm so bad. I got shaved in, in this, this region. <laughs> so shaved. But it was, it was fun, it was awesome. I got a lot of shit from my girlfriend from doing that. And my grandparents actually came and, and watched it with me. And that was awkward. <laughs> 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 it was kind of, it was kind of great. And also, guys, I don't know if you guys know this, is uh, Travis's first show ever. And, uh... So you know, for video cameras, if you say something uh, embarrassing and or stupid or editable, and editable, and that sort of thing. Oh, it will be on uh, YouTube. Should we start over? Yeah. yeah. We should start over. Everyone. <laughs> if they didn't urgently, we'll start again. Yeah, we should start over before we start. Okay. All right, we're moderating ourselves now. What's going on? <clears throat> Next. You know who's the QA folks? Eric. Which way are you coming? Uncomfortable side. Okay, I have a question for Travis. Yeah, that's okay. right. Derek, who? That's right. <laughs> No, I actually got a chance to ask him a question. Oh, okay. he's old on this. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Curious question for you. Sure. Because of the kind of character that you played, not the best kind of person or whatever in the movie, <laughs> were you, when you like watched it with friends or relatives, were, was everybody kind of like tickled when you finally got it? Um, now got it meaning sex As in, No, 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 no. <laughs> As in on the, on the tow truck. Uh, believe it or not, my mom likes watching me die. <laughs> and my dad, his dream is to play a dead person in a movie. So, um, they, I think they, they all enjoy uh, me, watching me play the asshole, but I've done it so many times now that they're like, okay, we've seen it, move on, transition somewhere else. So, uh, they, they get a kick out of it. If they end up not liking me, I know I did a good job, because they know who I am. Thanks. You're welcome. 
They're so ugly. They're nervous. I hear you. Oh, oh. I'm not saying it's okay. Right. Were you a fan of Jason before playing this I was. I'm a, I'm a nerd for Jason. Jason was like my favorite horror icon before I got hired. And so it was kind of hard keeping it together when I got the call to be the character that I was trying to be professional. I'm like, oh, we're, what we're shooting when? Oh, that sounds fantastic. And so I'm like, ha ah! I break it next to my house and I feel like a 12 year old girl. Derek's <laughs> left nipple is actually a Jason Mansfield. That's true. I have another one with Derek. Uh, could you just describe like, the addition process that you made to go through, like the emotions and the The addition process, what it was like for, for Jason? Yeah, like. Uh, we had to bring in a, a, a contrasting monologue, a comedy and a, a, a drama, and I'm totally lying. Yeah, and a dance as well. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I actually got hired because uh, only two of us were brought into audition for the character. Um, it was a lot of word of mouth. Uh, Brad and Drew from Platinum Dooms asked a lot of different industry professionals, like Scott Steyer, who did the makeup, uh, Greg Nicotero from k and a couple other people also, like who they thought you know, knew but who would be a good new Jason? And um, I'm very fortunate they, they put my name in, and they all, my name kept popping up, which was very nice. Uh, but the audition process, I went in, and basically, uh, the producers and the director were on location scout in Austin at the time, so I was with the casting director, and I was just talking to a, a video camera, and they're asking questions about the character, you know, what I knew about the character, and uh, they're talking about, they said this time around we need someone, uh, and no respect from before, whatever, Attention, but we don't want a, a guy with a mask to say we need a professional actor. And I go, why do you think that's, why do we need that? And I go, well, of course you would, because it, it, to me it doesn't matter what's in front of your face or not. If you do the character research and you do, if you commit to the moment, whatever's happening 100%, that energy is going to be able to transfer through the mask or whatever you're wearing and be captured on a film. If you walk in like, oh, I've got a mask on, I'm a big guy and I'm a killer, that's what you're going to get. It's going to be very one sided. So. I, uh, I guess that they liked that, and then they gave me a call, and I got hired. Yeah, he had to cry in the audition. I did cry, yes. And they liked that. It's good. <laughs> Did we get any pictures? Hi. Uh, so, I know uh, Cam Hatter is pretty sympathetic. I can't be the favorite Jason. What if Cam Hatter, like, approached you about who would win that fight? <laughs> if we, if we, if Cam and I fought? Yeah. Who would win? He's old. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't have, Kane and I have become really, like, we're, we're friends, so I can't really say. Uh, I, I won't say it. So, uh, no, no, I don't know, I don't know, he's a, I don't know, I don't know. be a good pay-per-view. I do got skill, though. I watch that. I've tried to be some MMA. I will tie clinch. I will guillotine, I know it. <laughs> 